time ever, historic day, and to beat, uh, I suppose, one of the best teams of all time, um, so convincingly as well, it was a super, super achievement. And, uh, you know, the guys just hunger and appetite and attitude and work rate and intensity was just, just blue click any way. And I suppose they did take a Kilkenny, they've done to so many teams down for the last few years. And they got a great starter, uh, early Joe Canning goal really set up and they went one, they went one seven right up, I think, at one stage. Kilkenny didn't score for for the first time after 19 minutes and then again the first score from play after 30 minutes and that's a rare, rare thing you know, with the, those calibre of Kilkenny forwards. The backs in particular held up, it was, were a really, really tight knit unit today, really aggressive, you know, and uh, they brought Damon Hayes out around the midfield, the third man midfielder, and Kilkenny didn't really know how to counteract that and Gall won an awful lot of breaks around the middle third uh, and that was, that set up the, uh, the platform but they used the ball very well when they did get it, you know, they, they didn't hit it aimlessly, they found the man, they played the position game going forward as well and uh, Kilkenny had no answer. Some great, great performances up front from Cyril Donlan, Joe Canning, Damien Hayes and these guys, you know, it was absolutely brilliant, you know, so it was absolutely fantastic as a Galway man to see and making history as well for themselves, winning, winning the, the Bob O'Keefe Cup in the Leinster, Leinster Championship, so it is worth our while maybe to go into Leinster after all. <laughs> midfield really particularly, I think Andy Smith and, and uh, Irla Tanyan absolutely tore into the game, you know, and you can saw Irla there coming off the field, Cyril Donlan coming off the field, they were absolutely out on their feet to give it everything like, you know, and that's what, that's what we expected from them. We expected a big performance from Galway, we expect them to, win enough, to score enough to win the game. We're a bit worried about our defence but the ball never really came down to our defence and that's that's credit to our forwards in midfield as well. It's a great boost for Galway. They're into an All Ireland semi final now, you know, and we'd have to move on from there I suppose. And we'll see what we'll see what comes up five weeks time in a, in a, an All Ireland semi final. John Burke. John Burke and Paula Burke from St Thomas's Hurling Club in Galway. We're very proud, uh, very proud of the whole team. Like the team was absolutely outstanding today. There was no individual like every player on the field and all the subs that came on done their job and that's all you have to do any day you go out and prove it today they weren't afraid of Kikini and you can't be afraid of. They knew themselves that they had it in them and they had been building, I suppose, since the start of the year. So we were coming up quite confident today.